Okay, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, you're joining up with my brother, Philip Chacha from Kenya. We happen to come from the Selma, where I was born, back in South Nyanza. But of course, I'm so on the tour of him. He's in, right, uh, he's in Nairobi right now. Of course, you're going to share with him about his musical journey. And of course, how he really rised up to, you know, uh, make sure to you know, market his rap music. Because we believe in Uganda, rap music is not such a way uh, you can promote it so easily back in Uganda. We're still struggling uh, in hip-hop part of it. But of course, uh, Ndugu, Habari, Asik, we Mzuri sana. How are you, I, sir? I'm fine. How are you doing? I'm very blessed, humble to be here. I really bless the name of the Lord and good to see you, sir. Amen. I'm so honored to have you for the first time on Africa Connect. Of course, as we connect up, really. Yes, sir. Mm, how are you doing? You can say really... I talk. Mm. I'm very blessed and honored to be here, especially, you know, um, I really have Uganda in my heart. And yeah. So, having this is actually my first time to be interviewed in, in, in Uganda and just to see my music play yeah. in Uganda. <laughs> so th this is this is just God. This Amen. is just God. I'm so excited. Mm. I'm so happy and looking forward to come there live. Mm. Amen. Uh, really, we shall be so honored to have you back in Uganda. We share with you, and of course, you can also share with a, a couple of gospel artists back in Uganda, really. Yes, yes, yes. I, I really love Uganda, you see. One, mm. we are family, and yeah. uh, now that we are all in the, the, the kingdom work, yeah. it is actually even easier and fun. Mm. Uh, but, but by the way, that has been yes, on sir. me before you say hi to our viewers and of course to get to know about your name. Uh, but of course that has been so much on me. Uh, the connection back in East Africa has been so low. And of course, we, you know, we got a lot of gospel parties back in Kenya, in Uganda, uh, Rwanda, and Tanzania, and of course Burundi. But our connection has been so low. I don't know the reason why, really. I think one of the things, um, one of the things that the body of Christ should be doing right now is yeah. focus on you, unity. Mm. You see, coming together like now, me meeting you, we meet with other gospel um, music ministers, it becomes even easier for us to move and yeah. make a big impact. Mm. Yeah, I think what we are lacking, what we are lacking in the body of Christ is unity. Yeah, um, there is so much competition which is unnecessary. Mm. Man is for himself and we forget the reason why we do what we do is because of christ yeah, yeah. okay yes uh, okay uh, before we go so much on that i want you to say to our viewers and of course let them know uh, your name phil chacha straight out of from kenya that's what i say so you can really uh, say i to our viewers yes 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 uganda this is minister philip chacha i'm very happy wherever you're watching from mm. i pray that the the spirit of god will minister to you and we'll just get to connect and mm. it's gonna be an amazing i ideally love you and pray for you pray i pray for uganda mm. and today just to talk to you direct is by the spirit of god i'm so humbled and honored yeah. see why your god Amen. And of course, coming back, also people would wish uh, a bit to get to know about you. I was saying, yeah, uh, like we happen to come from the same region back in South Nyanza. And uh, you telling me I'm from Nyanza and I've been so I was in Nyanza, I was like super excited uh, because few couple, you meet few uh, couple of people who come to the region where you come from sometime. Yeah. Mm. Oh, Philip Chacha. Mm. Philip Chacha is. Um... Is, um, I, I'm one uh, of the guys. I, I'm very simple, but full of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. And like my brother said, yes, I come from the Nyanza side of Kenya. Yeah. Um, when you are born there, you know, being raised there is not easy. Yeah. Even coming here in the city. Yeah. Uh, it's not. You you understand what I'm saying, sir? Mm. Yeah. But by the grace of God, we made it here. We came to the city and now we are preaching the gospel. We are making music that is reaching to Nyanza, mm. reaching to Uganda and other mm. parts. And, yeah. and all this music is for the glory and the honor of our Lord Jesus mm. Christ. Yeah, man. Uh, yes. and, and what I'm you've talked about, again. yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm born again. Um, yeah. I'm engaged. Mm. Looking forward to have a wonderful wedding. You are welcome, sir. Yeah, I'll, see you. <laughs> I'll be back in Nairobi. Nairobi. <laughs> yes. Okay. Karibu, sir. Karibu, sir.
Amen. Yeah. And because you talked about, you know, being, uh, being in Nyanza or being in Kisi, it's uh, really difficult to reach out in Nairobi. I had a friend back in Kisi at uh, St. John Nyamagwa, in Nyamagwa, and he was like, Brian, I want to sing, Brian, I want to do gospel song, but I don't know how I can really make it happen from uh, Kisi uh, to Nairobi. And I was like, keep praying. I don't know if you really achieved this dream because we met uh, some time back uh, when you're still young, really. Yeah, I think mm. also right now, um, the established musicians, what should be doing mm. is um, making sure that we have studios in places like that. Because now, yeah. you see, mm. uh, making music from such sites is, is a bit difficult. And now, you see, maybe mm. someone is just born there. Yeah, They, they don't know anything about uh, what we do. Having Accessing a studio is actually one of mm. the hardest things. Yeah, it, 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 What I've seen in my music ministry mm. for some time, you have good songs, they are all written down, but you don't know where to take the music, you don't know who to approach, you don't know where to start. Yeah. So I think, because uh, most of the musicians, for example, me, I come from Nyanza, mm. and I'm going to start with the things that happen is when you manage to make it and you see this light, you don't keep it to yourself. Yeah. You just take the light back and just open the door for other mm. people. And yeah. just if you can manage the studio mm. for them and mm. just advise them and show them where to take their music, you see, because there is so much talent, there is so much talent. Yeah, it, it, it can be easy for now, guys, to, to, to connect the way we are connecting now. Mm. Uh, yes, and of course, I wish yeah. you and uh, because as you come from Nyanza, uh, we have a uh, ringtone, uh, it comes from Kisi, uh, ringtone of poker comes from Kisi. I wish you guys would join hands and then make sure like uh, people from Kisi or people from South Nyanza uh, could have access to record music and then to serve God. Maybe you can really uh, do that great work. It would be really so uh, good. Yeah, you know, I, I normally say change, change starts with you. Yeah. You see? Mm. And so I, I'm going to be the first one uh, to take the step. And yeah. Uh, already we are working on it with a mm. couple of you brothers just to ensure that uh, for now we may not start a studio there in Nyanza, but it's possible for us to get guys from Nyanza to record. Yeah. Yeah, in the city. So we're gonna start that way, and then as we grow big, we're gonna now spread out to such parts. And uh, talking about Ringtone, he's a, such a good brother. So I'm, I'm gonna reach out to him and we mm. discuss the matter. I believe be fruitful and productive, and it okay. will edify the body of Christ. Okay, uh, super amazing. And because coming back to your genre, you do hip hop, gospel music, or rap music. And in Uganda, it's a big uh, challenge a bit because rap music is so low. I don't know how you guys you did it. Like when you talk about you, we talk about Echo Diadi, we talk about DK Kwenye Beat, uh, uh, we talk about Chris Albaba and many other artists back in Kenya. How have you really, you know, put the people love the kind of genre you do, like hip hop music? Uh, now, I think now, getting back now to the unity part which I was talking, yeah. most musicians like to work um, to work alone, mm. you see, yeah. but the kingdom of God does not work like that. We see yeah. Jesus, the first thing when he came, he put, he put yeah. together a team, mm. you see. Um, one, one, one thing about the rap music, what I can say, if you rap from the intro to the outro, the music yeah. will be boring, because mm. most rappers, when it comes to composing choruses, uh, there is no that melody. They go hard, which makes it now they, there is no fun. There is no juice part of, of, of it. Yeah. But when you look at people like the, the like of the people you people like DK Konyebi, what we normally do is we make sure the chorus is catchy and it yeah. has the melody. So we collaborate with other uh, musicians as well because. Even yeah. seeing us the same way, you can be singing, to, you can sing a dope song today, tomorrow, but you see, it cannot continue like that every time. You have to come different. And mm -hmm. so you see, if you're singing and I'm, I'm rapping, if we bring our heads together, the Bible says better than one, two is better than one. Yeah. What we can achieve there is another thing. Is mm -hmm. another thing. Yeah. And um, an another challenge I think that is there is people don't want to be, we can embrace who they are. So, copy a lot especially from the western side mm. and now you find out that um, it's like you're imitating you know anything you imitate cannot be better than the original people yeah. will go for the original mm. so i think what i can advise the rappers is look for a nice user 
get out of your comfort zone. Don't say I cannot handle this bit. Just find a way how you can put your lines and, and, and play uh, around with your flow and also work with other musicians, especially the ones who are established. Yeah. It will be easy. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, that is amazing too. The thing of Cypers, uh, it has been really so much low back in Kenya, but I've seen so much the Cypers coming from uh, Nigeria and Ghana. Uh, what has been the challenge on doing Cypers? Because we believe Cypers really could really unite people as we're talking about uh, putting up the unity between artists. And of course, uh, I was telling a couple of my friends this side in Uganda, uh, if we can do Cyper, we have like QFIO, uh, we have someone from Nigeria, would really build up. But of course, I've not seen that in Kenya so much. What would be the challenge? I want to see you, DK, when you be Phil, the Echo Diadi, oh, Chris Obaba, and every, there are many rap artists back in uh, Kenya. Yeah, um, while we were starting, I mentioned something about uh, yeah. musicians not being open to, to work with other people. Oh, yeah. Especially uh, when, mm. when they make it big, um, when you approach someone with the idea like what you're saying, they think mm. that you, you want to use them. You want to use them but yeah. which is not true so i think the challenge is just that people don't want to come together mm. you know, people don't want to work together and you see working together if if i come on board with a thousand fans another one comes with ten thousand you are uplifting me in a way because ten plus one is actually eleven right? yeah so i think what can we, we 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 and i'm really praying i had a meeting with the codida mm. Um, I had a meeting with other few gospel music ministers that we were just discussing on how to unite uh, yeah. the Kenyan uh, music ministers because now everyone is just on the other side, everyone mm. is doing their own thing, yeah. but we can just come together and see how we're gonna grow what God has given us instead of just being limited and people just feel selfish and working on themselves. So it's something we are working on. So Uganda, everyone who is praying for us, who is who is watching me right now, mm. pray for us. Pray for oh. this ministry. This wow. is ministry. Amen. Uh, and of course, uh, you know, uh, when I was talking to you for the first time, you had no the pride. But I got a couple of artists I've been really talking with uh, via social media. And of course, you see they got a big pride. Well, what would be the challenge? What is between mini, uh, being a minister for God, for Christ, and being an artist? Would we put this thing together or we should uh, uh, don't put these things together? Because for you, you saw like, yeah, hey, what's up, bro? How are you doing? You say, man, I'm good. And of course, you go to talk with someone still. You say, hey, man, it may not even reply you. What what would really, how can we really uh, take out the pride through out of the gospel artists in our continent of Africa? Well, good mm. question. Yeah. You know, the devil never applied to be the devil. He even never saw it coming. Yeah. Um, amazingly, is he never even changed who he worshipped. Yeah. He just changed how he worshipped. Mm. And that is how pride is found in him. I think while people are growing, the Bible says, do not despise the days of humble beginning. Again, what I think ministers, as music ministers, should get to understand is one. It's mm. not about us, it's about Jesus Christ. Yeah. The, the more humble, the Bible says, humble yourself in the mighty hand of God and in due time he shall exalt you. The humility part is what most people lack, and it's because I think many are not rooted in the word of God. Mm. That you can be challenged, and other people, they don't go to fellowship. You see, they concentrate so much on, on music, and they forget the fellowship part of the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit of God is the one who makes it all possible. Yeah. Um, another, another thing I can say is just the, the motive. The motive mm. is one of the things people should check you, know, you you see people they become so uh, while, while they are shining they are forgetting the reason why they are shining is because mm. they are still alive. And ah. also you mentioned something about the, the difference mm. between the artist and the minister yeah. mm. uh, an artist is an empty vessel you see and mm. empty vessels make the most uh, the most noise yeah um a minister is one who is filled with God, and the Bible says we are the ambassadors of Christ, mm. and so we are filled. We has given us music to fulfill. Uh, don't get me wrong. All of yeah. us are in business. Mm. The, the artists and the ministers <laughs> yeah. are all in business. Mm. But now the difference between the artist and the minister 
is the artist counts money as both the attributes but mm. the minister here what we consider and put as profit is there is yeah. a difference mm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, super amazing. Uh, because I've been uh, having a lot, a uh, lot of challenge, a lot of thing. Think about that thing. Uh, when I talk to someone like from Niger, he says, "Man, I'm cool. We're gonna do the interview. No problem. I got your time." And you go to someone, he tells him like, uh, "I want an, I want an interview." He says, "Man, <laughs> I'm super what? You know, he gives you stories. And of course, if we don't do this together, uh, Kenya, Uganda, and other countries to unite together, we can never really uh, make Jesus famous because we are looking at fetching more souls. But if you can't really be given time to even one soul uh, to get to know you because you've really uh, inspired me a lot and of course you've been there uh, you've given me a level like of saying yeah artist Philip is one of the best artists so far I've ever met because he's so down to the road that is really amazing on your side bro amen mm. okay okay and also coming back another question would be uh we are looking at uh, also you guys how you brand yourself when i come to your youtube channel i find it you got a big following and uh, is either is there any a uh, science you do to make your channels be super good or to have a lot of following um if if you have checked my youtube channel i don't really have uh, a lot of following uh, yeah. on social media mm. and the reason is I, I i chose to be different you see mm. everyone is paying to promote what what they are doing i have nothing against it completely yeah. mm. uh, people are buying views people are buying um, instagram accounts and all that but you mm. know i said hey uh, if my music can reach to one, you know, yeah. Jesus, the Bible says Jesus leaves the 99 and goes for, for the one. Mm, yeah. So it's not actually even about the views, it's mm. about the impact and, 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 and the lives I'm touching with the music and what God has committed to my trust. Yeah. Because every fan, me, I don't just see them as a fan. Mm. I see them as someone God has brought in life so that I can be a blessing to them. Yeah. You see, and so the reason why YouTube account and my Instagram is like that is like mm -hmm. I want to grow. Mm -hmm. yeah. I want to see. I want mm -hmm. to see myself moving from one and without even paying for it. You know, mm -hmm. Jesus said, "Freely you have, He has given us, and freely we should give." So I don't. On my side, I don't see the reason why I should buy views. I, I don't see why I should things yeah. because Christians don't have chances. We have yeah. grace. Mm. And, and, and so it is by grace that one can only rise. So uh, uh, at this point, I just want to see myself growing from 10 to 100. You see, that way I, I will have a testimony because I'm monitoring and I'm seeing what God is doing in my life. Yeah. And it is one of the things that keeps me humble yeah. and thanking God. And okay. without forgetting because I, I came from 10 to 1,000. Okay. Ah, uh, uh, super most, amazing. Most yeah. people are buying mm. Like? Yeah, most people are buying views. Most <laughs> people are, are paying to push their so it's not about hype. It's yeah. about impact. Uh, really, you talked about something yeah. that I've been already thinking about. Like, let me reach one, but of course, when I've saved one, instead of reaching many who will just be like, you've bought the views, the following, and then you end up like, you know, they're not really getting what you do, they're not really getting what you're saying, or they're not really taking the music you're doing into their heart, uh, so that maybe how they can change, maybe how you can, they can really become Christian, or maybe they can really follow our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. All right, we are still on, and of course, yeah, uh, yeah. Yes. Mm. yeah. So, one of the things me I like to just talk to, especially music ministers, yeah, don't force yourself to people, mm. just focus on doing what God has called you to do, you see, and then you will grow. He's faithful, the one who has called you, He knows, mm. He's the one who has given you the melodies, He's the one who has given you the song, He's the one who has given you the resources. Me being here talking to you who is listening. Mm. It's all by the spirit. It's not by chance. It is by the spirit. I connected to Brian by the spirit. Mm. So we grow. We rise as we humble. So don't be pressured. Don't have. Um, don't be pushed to do things. Just yeah. do things as led by the spirit of God, and you oh. will see. You will grow. Okay. You will grow big. Okay, uh, it, yeah. it, it, it is super amazing. Of course, uh, time is not a best seller. Your last word to our viewers. Of course, for us back in Uganda, we shall really keep on playing the music. And of course, we shall always keep on really having you on the show as we really change and of course, get more people uh, back to Christ. Yes, uh, my last words will be, if you're mm. watching this show and you're not born again, yeah. and you go to the, their social media accounts, 
and just inbox them and receive life because all this we are doing is for Jesus. Life without Jesus Christ is meaningless. It is useless. You see, you, you haven't even started living. Another yeah. thing is, I dearly love Uganda, like I say. Mm. I keep on praying for you. Yeah. Apostle Chris Lupenga is one of the mentors and people who has, have built my life. Mm. And also, uh, if you like to connect with me, you just go to or on social media and just photo Philip Chacha. As simple yeah. as that, it helps mm. me. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll reach out back to you. And we swear your God, mm. and we bless God. It is an honor. Amen. I'm going to connect you to a couple of uh, rap artists back in Uganda. And of course, it will be so amazing to wow. get to know about you. And of course, you guys to share one on one. Uh, it will really help us to rise the gospel in Africa. Sure. I'm looking forward, sir. Amen. Thank you very much. Uh, that was Phil from Kenya. It was an honor to talk to him. Of course, let's really keep doing this because the only one thing uh, that could really, uh, you know, rise the gospel is to connect up and to collaborate with a couple of artists across the corner. Of course, let's take a musical break. Uh, we're still having much more on the 